Everybody, this is Prem from Light Feather. Thank you for being here. Um, a short intro about myself. I am a clairvoyant and a healer at the same time, and I am also a makeup artist. Hey, talent. <laughs> and I think there are a lot of us out there who do, who are, you know, in our everyday work life, but that we are getting more in tune with our higher selves, with our inner intuition, and as that progresses, um, life unfolds in beautiful ways. Uh, for me, it was, where should I start? Um, as a little girl, I always knew that I had this intuition. I could see spirit, some not so very nice ones. And um, I could also see other beings. I I knew how to communicate. Of course, I hadn't fine-tuned it because it was all very different for me, you know, all uh, different types of angels and everything. I didn't know um, all their names. I just knew that they existed. I could feel and sense, hear, smell, taste. Um, and my mom was very intuitive herself, so that was very helpful. Um, and many years ago, as I decided that there was more to life than just living and doing your everyday, basic, usual, run around, do this, that, go to work, get the house ready, I knew there was more to life, you know? And so I started searching. And after a few books that helped me um, get in touch with what else there was, and how to understand them, because I didn't really have uh, a very good understanding of all of these things that were coming to me, that you know I would have premonitions on things and um, how to understand them. So I think one of my favorite books was by Sylvia Brown, and a lot of you know about Sylvia Brown. She's passed now, but she was a wonderful help. You know, I'd gone to a bookstore one day and I was at my wit's end and I said, you know, I said to the universe, you got to help me out here because I'm at my wit's end. I know there's more to this. I know these hands are powerful and I see, so I need more clarity. I need more knowing. And I kind of browsed through some books and that one just jumped out at me. And as much as I tried not to <laughs> focus on it, it just kept popping out. So I pulled the book. I didn't know anything about Sylvia. Um, I'd heard about her in passing. But uh, so I started reading one of her books and it just made so much sense. Everything that she said, I was like, okay, so it does, you know, it's out there. There are people who, who do understand and know um, a lot more. And so I started seeking even more. And time went on and I um, kind of had a life crisis, I, I would say. And I basically just wanted to forget everything, just life had no meaning, didn't understand. Um, I guess as you progress in your, your inner self, it's a journey. And I found my, my um, mentor, my shaman, and he opened me up to the whole world, the whole universe, basically. Um, so much more than I ever thought I could reach and grasp and uh, fulfill into myself and the work that I knew I was supposed to do. I always knew I had the healing touch. I knew I could see things, but I just didn't understand how to kind of put all the puzzles together. So I underwent some training and um, I have quite a lot under my belt. So here we are. <laughs> And I'm here to share my work with the world and also to show you, you know, little processes that you can use yourself every day. Um, the work that I do has to do with um, how 
we can change our reality, how we can change life, how we can make things better from the way we thought we were brought up to understand things. Um, you know, a lot of times we've heard our parents say, well, money doesn't grow on trees. You ought to know better. You're the man. You don't cry. Men don't cry. And all those little things, um, say your teacher, you know, say something horrible to you when you've put so much love and effort into your work and just damns you down. And all those little imprints, they encode into you. And later on in life, it could be something as small as someone saying, gosh, the potato is not baked right. And it could trigger something in you because somewhere past down your timeline, someone had said that and it hurt you or it really pissed you off and it, it just triggers you. And even though this person didn't mean it in such a mean way, but it can trigger you. So it's amazing how little things can encode into you and play out into why you behave a certain way or that you're, you have a certain addiction to something. And we also carry on um, in our DNA and encoding, um, you know, we have belief programs that are encoded into us from our ancestors, um, genetics, and all those can play out throughout your timeline. So there is a way to change it, um, make it better, and say if, you know, for me, like my mom had diabetes, so um, some of my family members would say, you know, or the, even the doctor, would, He'd say, well, you know, it runs in your family, so you're more than likely to get it as well. And I remember thinking to myself, no, I don't have to. And, but he was so adamant that I would. And so I had to prove it that, no, I don't have to take this on. I don't have to live my life um, with diabetes um, because I had already learned that this was something that I didn't have to play out. And uh, so with the work that I do, we can resolve and dissolve um, trauma, um, pain from the body, you know, all these belief programs that money doesn't grow on trees, which of course, literally, that you don't see a tree with dollar bills because we'd all be planting trees, <laughs> ecosystem. <laughs> But um, in essence, we are the creators of our reality and we can make our lives so much better, so much peaceful once we start to go inside and find the love that we have inside for ourselves. A lot of times we are looking for approval from the outside world. We're so hooked on, you know, I need to have approval from my girlfriend, from my teacher, from friends, and, and you're constantly being a, um, I would say like a doormat, actually. <laughs> that would be perfect. Because you, you need so much for someone to confirm that you are worthy, you are deserving. But when you come to this wonderful place that I found, inside of you. You stop searching for that outside of you. You just know, like you know, like you know, like you know, that you are more than good enough. <clears throat> and you have a good attitude about life and you are more in reverence with what's in keeping with you and what makes you happy and what brings you joy. And you start seeing every little thing around you dance, you know, the trees have meaning, rain has meaning, um, every single thing. And you start having such immense gratitude for everything around you, as small as a penny that you have. And that kind of touches into manifestation as well. The small things that you have in life, as irrelevant as it may seem to you at the time, the more gratitude that you have to it the more it wants to come to you because everything is energy. Everything around you has energy, has vibration, and it, it vibes.
with you. So gratitude is love and does that say it? <laughs> gratitude every day. Have gratitude for every little thing around you, the people. And when you go out throughout your day, you can send immense gratitude out before you start your day. You know, if you're going to go meet your clients, you've got a problem that you need to solve, you don't know how to do something, engage and feel the immense gratitude that you have for how well it's going to unfold and that all the infinite answers are within you and you are part of the whole. You are part of the creator that made you is inside of you. Your breath is pure source energy. You know, when I think about, how I think about it is when I breathe in and breathe out, I feel the heavens in and out of me because without the breath of life, you cease to exist. <laughs> so it's very powerful, you know. The omnipresence is always within us. And the omnipresence is unconditional love. It has no conditions. It doesn't see you as any lesser. It doesn't hate you. It doesn't, it wants the best for you. Everything that you want, it wants for you too. Yes, at times it may not be the right time. And so you have to have patience and ask for the best guidance to it. Again, always go inside. You can always call upon your guardian angels, your spirit guides, your angel guides, and the omnipresence, pure light, source, and energy. And, and ask, what can I do about this? How can I change this? Show me the best way for me that will unfold in magnificent ways that I will know. So... What I'd like to do is do a little short process. Um, <clears throat> I guess the other thing I would like to touch on is about your everyday life. You know, every day when we go out to the supermarket, we go out to hospitals, um, offices, buildings, um, even when you go on walks, you know, certain places, parks, we tend to pick up energy, you know, from the collective. So say, you know, I'm sure some of you have felt it when you walk into the supermarket and you just feel a little frenzy or when there's a sale happening at a store and you just feel all, oh my gosh, you're just going in this chaotic flow because it's not really you, you're kind of picking up everybody's erratic energy going on. And so it's lots of energies that can get stuck in us. And if you're working in retail, you know, people want you, need you, they're constantly at you. Help me, help me, help me, help me. And it kind of um, feeds off you. And by the end of the day, you're pretty much depleted. And a lot of nurses know this too, working in hospitals, you know, um, patients are sick, they're ill, come and injured, they've had some kind of trauma, patients passing away. And so some of these energies or entities don't know how to go. So they stick around and they look for someone who's not feeling so good um, and that touches into vibration. Vibration is um, frequency. So say when you are laughing and dancing and singing, you're happy. So your vibration's open, your heart center is open and you're vibrating, you're happy, right? And when you're depressed, sad, um, stuck, you're feeling bogged down, uh, you've, you've just been around somewhere that's depressing, someone who's depressing is always telling you about all their problems, you know who they are. And you, just, you know, you try to avoid them, but no, they'll find you through your email, your phone, and by the end of the day, that's you. And you come, come back, your energy gets all shrilled back in. And um, I know that sucks because you have no energy left for yourself or your loved one. And when you come home, you're just depleted. And you could rest for 10 hours a day, but still wake up feeling like you're not inside of your body. Um, and stress, immense stress can do that too sometimes. So if we're afraid of uh, dealing with something, a part of us tends to um, take off. 
so you kind of you feel like you're not inside of your body. So this short little process will help clear the energy so you can come back to center point and be in harmony and balance and feel more recharged. And after the short process, I'll also um, tell you about how you can do um, some little um, exercises yourself at home and that will help you throughout your day. Yes. So, okay. So I always like to say when you're working on yourself um, or receiving a, a energy work, um, it's always best to keep your body open. You don't want to be sitting there with your hands crossed or your legs crossed because what happens is you are disrupting the flow of chi or energy through you. So it's always best to have your hands by your side. If you're sitting down, I like to advise that your palms face down on, your, on the top of your knees. The top part of your knees um, and your thigh, that is a very powerful power point. Um, where energy is received through the palms. So you want to do that. And if you can take your shoes off, that'd be wonderful because rubber soles tend to um, disengages it a little bit. However, you know, it's, it still works. I just prefer it without shoes, but that's fine. Shoes are fine because you can't always take your shoes off when you need to clear yourself. So I like to do this every day because it's very important to keep yourself clear so you can have more clarity in yourself and life and your surroundings, okay? So if you're driving, please pull over or just listen to this a bit later. If you're um, in the kitchen cooking, go sit down because this will kind of put you in a very calm state of mind and a theta brainwave, so you don't want to lose track of what you're doing and hurt yourself, okay? So take responsibility for yourself. <clears throat> okay, so I'd like you to envision a pure white light, whether it's the sun's energy, it's pure source energy, and bring it to the front of your heart. And this pure source light, I'd like you to blast it into your heart like a grenade of light. And do it again and just blast it through the center of your heart. And now feel it expand through your energy field as far out as uh, like an eggshell. And you'll start to feel that. You can rub your palms together too to get the currents going. And I'd like you to bring that light up through your crown, all the way up, 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 and connect to a star, either the star or the sun, pure source light, pure source energy. As we connect to this pure source energy of unconditional light, benevolence, grace, and source. And we bring that back down through our crown, through our heart, and all the way down our hips, legs, feet, and down into the Earth Mother, into the pure source connection with the Earth Mother. And then now bring that light back up through your feet and back into your heart center. Okay. And we call upon the unconditional love of the omnipresence, pure source energy, and we call upon all your guardian angels, spirit guides, angel guides, to be present at this time. And Archangel Michael, Archangel Raphael, and all benevolent beings of Creator's light. And we're going to go in and find, see, gather, and bind any and all energy, hooks, cords, attachments psychic hooks, cords, attachments, wayward spirits, entities that are lesser of the pure source light, dark sources, energies that we have picked up from different spaces, places, and time 
throughout all time, space, throughout these dimensions, and in between, past, present, and future, to be pulled and released and dissolved into the light of all that is. And any and all energies, emotions that you have taken on from other people and sources that do not belong to you, that are not of your highest source and of your pure energy, to be pulled, dissolved into the pure light of all that is, to be dissolved. And all emotional energies that do not belong to you that you might have taken on for any person, persons, people, spaces, and places that did not belong to you that are feeding off your energy be pulled and dissolved. Feel that being pulled and dissolved. And any and all tension that you might be feeling throughout your body, whether it's in your shoulders, and any residual energies there, be released into the light of all that is and dissolve. And okay, that's a lot there. And let's replace this with unconditional love, the feelings and knowings of unconditional love and what it feels like to have unconditional love replaced into your body, into the morphic field, auric field, on all layers and all levels. unconditional love and to know how to receive the feelings and knowing of unconditional love in the highest perspective and to know that it is safe to receive unconditional love and what that is from the highest perspective and let's go back to the very first time when you felt <coughs> the feelings of not knowing what unconditional love was and not being able to receive unconditional love. Let's go back to the very first time and dissolve that and give your high perspective on this, on knowing how to receive unconditional love, to know how to receive unconditional love. Okay, and back in, and to replace harmony, balance, and to have to connect to your center point, to your God source. how to be in your body and what it feels like to be in your body in the highest perspective and that it is safe to be in your own body and to all parts and pieces, places and spaces of you that are not in tune with your body that are out of center point from your body. Let's go back there to the very first time when this happened and bring all parts of you back into the pure source light to be cleansed, washed, cleared, and made whole in harmony and balance. Place back into you, into the here and now, and to know how to be back in you in the here and now. To the here and now. Okay. All right. Well, that 
feels better. So you should be feeling a lot lighter. Um, and when you're ready, you can open your eyes. And Or if you feel the need to go lay down after this, a lot of times people do because your energy is much clearer and um, your body might have been holding so much that it might need to go rest and to download this a lot deeper. Um, and if you wish to stay awake, you can bring more energy, pull more earth energy. And I always say from state intention that it is from pure source light, pure source energy that, it, that you're connecting to from the earth mother and pull that energy back up through your feet all the way back up. And that way keeps you grounded and almost stable if you don't wish to go lay down. Okay, well, I hope you have enjoyed this. Uh, this process really does make a big difference doing it every day. Now, um, what you can do on a daily basis too is, um, there's an, uh, I like to call it the energy ball. So what you can do is rub your hands together, rub your hands together, and that kind of gets the electromagnetics going. And uh, shake your hands off if you're feeling nervous or tense and you're about to go into a meeting and you just need to, okay, get this, this snap back together. <laughs> um, and put your hands together close to your Dantian. Your Dantian in uh, Qigong is where your center point, your power point is right there. So put it right there and press your palms together about that far. And you'll start feeling this magnetism between both palms. And you'll push it back and forth, back and forth. And you can picture light coming into it. But as you do this, you'll start feeling a little force of, um, like a little ball, like you're holding a little ball. It'll be this push and pull, push and pull. And you start feeling it there. And you can make it a little bigger. And you start feeling it grow with you a little bigger. Okay. And you can bring this all the way up to your crown. And bring it into your crown all the way down and keep the fingers away from touching the body that way it's doing its thing and all the way down and then whoosh it down all the way down to the bottom of your feet so it goes down into the earth and disposes of anything that you know all that um, restlessness that you might be feeling or tension. You can do this four or five times if you want and you can do it any time throughout the day. I like to say it's free, it costs nothing and it works and it's quick. So enjoy. I thank you for being here and I shall see you next time again. Live life light as a feather. Bye. <laughs>